If you Google AWS Marketplace and search for QReader IBM, you're going to find that there are three new offerings. These are the original ones that we did videos on, and they are these three for 732 patch one for the console, which we'll do in this video. Then we're going to do another video for the app host. We're going to migrate some apps that I will install on the console first and move them to the app host. And we're going to do a video on the manage host. I hope that you will be impressed on how easy this has become to get an instance of QReader up and running on AWS. Okay, so this is uh, bring your own license type of deal. I'm going to take the defaults, which is the large image in here. You see, you can see the cost. So we start by clicking continue to subscribe. Continue to configuration. There's only one software version. I'm going to select my region which is Ohio and we click here click to launch so from here you need to specify the VPC settings and that's a specific of your environment that drives the subnet settings as well the security group that you belong to and the key pair that you have then you click launch Then that launches the process of creating your EC2 image for the console. And we see it here, this one that reads initializing here is the one that is in the process of being made. I'm going to name this one, click on the pencil, I'm going to call it console JB. And I'm going to pause the video until that completes. Oh, but even before then, make sure that you get a copy of the public IP and put it on your clipboard. You're going to use it to SSH into it when this finishes. Actually, it did. Oh no, it's still initializing. So, pausing the video now. That didn't take long at all, so I need to open an SSH a terminal to do an SSH session to it. So let me show you the syntax of the command to do so. So the command is SSH-I and then the path to where you have your keys. This is a specific again to your environment. And then EC2-user and that public IP that we just copied before. Type yes, and we are into the virtual machine. Now to complete the installation, what we need to do is do sudo slash root space slash root slash the command is set up console and you'll see that all the ones are very similar to that but you need to specify what you're doing that's all you need to do and that's gonna initiate the process of doing the full install of curator and at the end it's gonna ask us to set up the password that we're gonna use to log in into that instance so I'm pausing the video until then well, that took a while, but it did everything on its own, so it's asking you to set up the admin password. The once, and the twice. And that should be it. One thing that is very important, we are, as you see, we are already in the, inside the EC2 image. Before I go into the console and show you all that, make sure that all the IPs you select are static. I have done some other videos that show how you administer uh, AWS, and, but 
If you don't do that, make sure that your admin gives you only static IPs. If you go with a dynamic IP, when QRare reboots, everything is going to be broken and it's very hard to change the QRare IP. So static IP is, uh, is a must. Also, from the security perspective, make sure that the browser you are going to be, the IP of the browser or the CDAR range of the IPs of the browser you're going to use to get to your image are whitelisted in AWS, as well as the IPs that you are using as well. So make sure that you don't have security getting in, in the way uh, to get to your curator image. All is left to do is to go into a browser that again has been whitelisted https colon slash slash and put the IP address of the public IP address of the image we just created. If you remember it was this one in our case. And that should take us and here we are. Notice the warning on the license. If you don't know how to install the or apply the licenses, uh, I created a video uh, that shows that how to do that. And we are in a AWS instance of a Curator console. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to show that in the video, but I'm going to install an app that is going to be installed here in the console. I'm going to install, for example, the QDI app. And then when I will do the video on the app host in AWS, I'm going to show you how easy it is to migrate that from here to there in case that you have those apps running in the AWS and you don't have an app host yet.